the materials that we are gonna use is one soda bottle, cotton, rock, sand, activate charcoal, dirty water, one knife or scissor. Now we are going to cut the soda bottle like here. Now we are going to use the knife and we are going to make a hole. The second step is to put the upper side of the bottle upside down. And many people use it this way, but I prefer to use a cup. In the third step, we are going to put white in the bottom, the cotton. And now we are going to put a very sharp cup, white here. Activate charcoal means they have taken hot hair and blown it right through tiny little particles and what it does is it opens up tons of little pores so those pores can catch all sorts of nasty little qualities in the water. Or it also removes contaminants and impurities through chemical absorption. The next ingredient we are going to add is the sand. The sand that we use works to remove the fine impurities. Now we are going to put some gravels right on the top. The gravels work to filter out large sediments or like leaves or insects. Now we are gonna use the dirty water and we are gonna test the experiment. Now we can see that when the water passed through different layers, it came up clear and we can also see that all these layers work together to capture all of those nasty things in the water. Okay, so now I'm talking about the conclusions. And the first question is, which household activities can be done using our filtered water? So many activities that can be done using our filtered water can be such as um, use the toilet, take a bath, and brush your teeth, and maybe clean the house. We also do not recommend to drink this water since it may have um, some chemicals or it's not 100% clean. Okay, so the second question is, which improvements could you do to your prototype in future investigations? Okay, so the improvements that we can do to our prototype in future investigations can be to find more materials or products that help clean the water and also use more layers to reduce the amount of contaminants and impurities. The third question is, which are the compounds or substances that pass through your filter and do not make it suitable for drinking? These compounds can be toxins, which are poisonous substances produced by living cells such as animals, plants, or bacteria. The last question is how could you resolve this problem? We resolve this problem by reducing and removing amounts of contaminants and impurities that the water had. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, no, it's not working.